people are building these West Indians up, I'm not really quite sure that they're as good as everyone thinks they are. If they're down, they grovel. And I intend, with the help of Klosi and a few others, to make them grovel. Grovel. They grovel. Grovel. To make them grovel. That wasn't a clever thing to say. The timing was very, very wrong, especially given the situation in South Africa with apartheid. Here was this guy, you know, apartheid still going strong, and he's going to make these black guys grovel. The appetite was there immediately. Clive Lloyd said, guys, we don't need to say much. Our man on the television have just said it all for us. We know what we got to do. We took that seriously. Very, very serious we took it. I've not seen our guys so focused. That comment alone was sufficient to set the tone for the whole series. The bowlers, they really turned on the heat. He made the others suffer for what he said. Typical closey style, he hasn't rubbed it. And my word, Brian Close did well to avoid quite a nasty accident there. And was really fired in extremely quickly. Only at the last possible minute did he manage to get that head out of the way. And that's hurt him. And that's somewhere on ground about the mark where earlier he let one bounce off him. That really must have stung him. Close, trying to take this pace attack, but extremely difficult. Enough is enough. He's really overdone the short pictures. Brian Close is going to be a mass of bruises when he gets back into the haven of the pavilion. A new row has erupted over dangerous bowling. A former chairman of the Cricket Society warns that unless rules are tightened, ten cricketers will die and 40 more will suffer brain injury through being hit by a ball this summer. The world more or less portrayed the West of these team as brutal, bringing the game into disrepute. But the adrenaline that's going to be pumping, the tension that would have mounted from that ill-fated comment, you're going to release that ball at a serious pace. There were umpires that in the laws of the game were allowed to act to protect people. You don't want to hurt someone, inevitably a batsman will get hurt and you regret that i always feel when i hit a batsman the sympathy is in here you may not see it and i can't show the batsman that but it's just that i have a job to do we're not going to be these happy-go-lucky cricketers that only here to entertain we're going to entertain by this high skill and whatever it takes to win within the rules of the game we're going to do it to win Oh, and that's a fine ball. Holding strokes again. We were made to feel at home, away from home. The crowds supported us because of the way we played. What a magnificent catch that was. People turned up in their droves, and one section of the ground was just all West Indians and having a ball. As good a shot as you will ever see. Everyone said it was the hottest summer in England for donkey's years. Well, I think the heat was felt by the English, not by the West Indians. That's really good bowling from Andy Roberts. Spectators that hardly have had better entertainment. The crowd, more so than anyone else, took a turn at Tony for what he said. They reminded him and they kept on repeating it. So uh, I think he got the message. Whenever he came into bat, he would have it. If they were tired, guys would find the strength just to make sure. And it wasn't getting him out caught in the slips. It was like just knocking his poles over. Bang! Wow, those were some special moments. And a very disappointed, disenchanted Tony right there. You can't forgive, but you never ever forget. Righteousness must always stand. Michael Holden and myself had great summers in 76. Viv Richards had a great summer in 76. So it was bat, 
versus Ball in 76. Every test match that Viv played it, he looked invincible. Yeah. And a terrific shot, this really master batsman. The master blast has arrived. There was so much talk about intimidatory bowling. Well, we had a batsman that didn't mind if you bowled six bouncers at him. He would not have been scared. He came and stood his own, you know. Take that in your ass, man. Batman, you have a bat in your hand, defend yourself, that sort of attitude. Some said I had a little swagger. It's my sign of saying I'm so confident here, you know. With some chewing gum in mouth, I back myself every time. What a shot, it's no use bowling this fella. The batter gets the fastest of bowlers and totally took everyone apart. I could knock him back as well. You better get out of the way. The bowler afraid of Vivian Richard instead of Vivian Richard afraid of the bowler. If it wasn't confrontational, I felt that you we were kicking. And if it wasn't in my face, you wouldn't see the best of Vivian Richards. Vivi is the name. Cricket is the game. Brother, I don't know how he could play cricket so. But he's batting, bowling, feeling. Catching his breath taking. Sometimes I just wonder if he's a next so buzz in the making. That man Richards could really bat. It's something to see him and the attack. Plundering bowlers again and again. It's remarkable how he does dictate the game. No bowler holds a terror for Vivian Richards, not Thompson or Lily, not Billy Nashanda Zika. Mm -mm. A perfect coordination of body and mind. That brother is really dying, no oh, might. I tell you, pace or spin. He ain't give a France while you're bowling him. Fast or slowly, you're going back to the ball. Vivi Richards, a great man, wonderful. <laughs>